I have tried over a hundred apps in the past 10 years. So what are the top five that can help you to stay connected with a foreign language daily? Hi, 大家好，我是爱学语言的 Crazy 老师。I love using technology to make my language learning experience fun, especially the free ones. 那我的母语是中文普通话 I learned English as part of the Chinese educational curriculum. And empecé a aprender español en mi universidad y ahora dije que ahora dije. So, what languages you're learning? After learning three foreign languages, I have tried over a hundred apps in the past ten years. So, what are the top five? They can help you to stay connected with a foreign language. Number five, lyrics training. So, have you thought about using music to learn a foreign language? This is the best app to do it. It's good for beginning to advanced level learners. And I love that lyrics training makes it like a game when you can compete with others. I'm going to show you how to use it to its full potential. Right now, you're looking at my screen, and here is the lyrics training. We're gonna turn it on, and then you can choose the language you are learning. So here for now we have Spanish, Turkish, English, Portuguese, French, Italian, and so on. And you don't see Chinese here, but I'm going to show you where you can find the Chinese version. So this is how it works: you choose a music that you like. I use this to learn Spanish. I、uh, listened to 111 music and went over 1,600 words. Okay, so now let's see.、Uh, let's say I'm gonna choose this music, "Vivir Mi Vida." So you click the music, and then you see your options. You can do multiple choice. The first one, you can choose to write everything down. The second one, or you can choose karaoke. I don't want to do any quiz. I just want to listen to the music. So we're gonna see the multi application, and once you're in, you're gonna see different levels: beginning level, intermediate, advanced, or expert. So the only difference is how many blanks you're gonna have. So we're gonna try the first one, and decide how to start. So here you're gonna see the video on top, and then you have to make your choices. Okay, and then you just keep. Fill in the blanks while you listen to the music, and then in the end, you're gonna say, "Okay, I'm completed." And you're gonna see your points and compare to other people. Okay, so now I'm gonna、uh, leave here. And what I like is here, you will have the vocabulary that you went over in the music. So in the free version,、uh, you can see a limited amount. Okay, ah,、uh, but then when you have For example, gosar. I don't know the meaning, so I'm gonna click on gosar, and then you can translate into whatever language you speak. Okay. So another good feature is lyrics training has a web version. So on the app, you do not have Chinese, but you can go to lyricstraining.com/zh/slash, and then say go to the web. You're gonna see this page、okay, where you can do Chinese pinyin. Ah,、uh, so it's the same thing. You're gonna pick a music. For example. Uh, Tian Kong by Julie Tai, and then you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do this、uh, beginner level, and then here you can press, and then you can start. Okay, so on the web, instead of choosing、uh, the word, you have to type the pinyin. Okay, so I think you get the idea. And now、uh, on the web version, you also have the option of karaoke. So just I just want to listen to the music while look at the pinyin. Then you can just click the karaoke option, and then just listen to the music while have the pinyin underneath. Do you know something similar? Please do share in the comment. Now that's my other self going to show you our number four forest. This is an example of how you can change any app that you use often into the language you're learning. And this method is good for intermediate to advanced learners. Also, it is less scary than changing your whole phone system language into a language that you don't know well yet. So, Forest is an app to help you to focus. You know, but I am repurposing it for immerse yourself in the foreign language. Let's see how we can do this. Okay, first, let's go to an app. 
in my case, forest. Turn it on. Okay, right now, it's in English. This app to help you focus is by planting trees or doing different kind of tasks. And when you are in a focusing mode, uh, you will not be able to use your phone. So let's say usually you're just, oh, plant something for 20 minutes. Oh, but I don't want to do it yet. So let me cancel. So now let's go to the setting in your app. In this case, right here. Click on the settings, usually you'll find the language. So for my forest, it's here. Change language. Right now it's English. So I'm going to click on it. Depending on your app, you will have different language available. And luckily, forest have a lot of options. So I can choose Arabic, the first one. Or can choose, in Chinese learner's case, Jian Ti Zhong Wen. You can also change it into Fan Ti Zhong Wen, the traditional Chinese. Okay. So now I'm going to switch it back. I'm going to exit the set and you're going to see on your app, everything is in Chinese now. But because you picked up an app that you use often, you should be able to use it by using an app in the language you are learning. Uh, you kind of immerse yourself in the language. Okay. So which app would you pick? So number three, drops. It's a vocabulary learning for over 45 languages, and you can do it in small chunks. It's good for beginning to intermediate learners. Let me show you how this app works. So now we're going to click the drops. And once you turn it on, you are going to see there are many different things of a vocabulary that you can choose from. And also look at the right top corner. There's a little clock it says five minutes. That means the free version you get five minutes every day, well, every 10 hours. So my trick would be I do one early in the morning so I can do another one later in the evening. So now let's see, I want to learn something about food. Okay, so then you can click the food and then you're gonna see 早餐, so which one is 早餐? Uh, I think that's breakfast, it's there. And they will give you the pronunciation too. And then you say 水果, mm, the first time you say a word, they're gonna show you the picture and then Chinese, and then whatever language you uh, translation you want. Now they're going to do more exercise. Okay, so this is one of their common quiz. Another one where you need to do the spelling. So, so now I think you, uh, you'll figure out how to use this app. And once you pass the first one, they're going to unlock it more and more and more. Okay. If you just learn one foreign language, choose drops, not language specific one. But if you're learning multiple language and you want to take advantage of it, it's better to download the language specific drops, Chinese, drops English, drops Turkish. And then you can get five minutes for each of the language you're doing. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, I didn't recommend advanced learners to use drops because learning vocab in isolation is not the best way. So make sure you supplement it with other activities like speaking, listening, reading, and find good readers in a foreign language is much better than any apps I'm recommending right now. Also, I don't think it's necessary to purchase the premium version where you can do as many minutes as you want. Keep it short and sweet so you can continuously doing it. Like my video? Make sure to thumbs up. And now let's reveal our number two app. It's called Slowly. Yes, you heard it slowly. So this one is good for practice reading and writing with native speakers around the world. It's good for intermediate to advanced learners. This app is meant for people who likes to make pen pals and get to know write to people around the world. I just used it to stay connected with a foreign language. So now I'm going to show you how it works and how you can use it to retain and even improve your foreign language skills. There's the app slowly. Turn it on and then make sure you register your own account. Create a profile. And once you opened it and used it for a while, on top, you're going to see the letters that you have received lately. Okay. And then here, you're going to see, oh, there are two letters on the way. So when you click on that, you are also be able to see where the letter comes from. So one letter, for example, is Morocco. Yeah, from Morocco. And then another letter, let me see, where are you? Okay, another letter is uh, probably my friend in. So what attracts me most uh, is that slowly is like the traditional way of writing to someone. It's going to take some time to reach to the people depending on how far away they are to you. 
a slowly friend in Indonesia is going to take more than 24 hours for the letter to arrive. Okay, now I'm going to exit here and we're back to the front page. Here is the part I where you can make your friends is click the little person system will recommend you three person and you can click on this little profile. You're going to see what kind of person they are, what do they write and what are their interests and what languages they speak, etc. But now if you do not like their recommendations, you can, well, you can explore manually. Okay, click this one and then you can use the filter. Okay, you can choose a region. Let's say maybe you want people in China. Okay, and then I'm going to say, okay. And then you can also, uh, if you have their membership, you can choose their city too. And then you can select the language and say, oh, people who speaks Chinese or people who speaks Arabic. Okay, so you can choose the language. And one, I really just do this too. And then you're going to say, okay, apply. And now you're going to have many choices of people who know Chinese and maybe writing Chinese too. And then let's say if I'm interested in this person, I can say add a okay, plus the sign. And then you can write to them like, uh, for example, 你好, blah, blah, blah. And then you can, you can click this little symbol here and just say send. And then your letter will go there. So then when they reply, you can figure out what did they reply to you. Okay. So this is um, the best part that I like. You, you can write uh, people anywhere in the world that you want to uh, in the language that you want to. Okay. And this is just a part that I really like is you can go to the uh, store of stamps and where you can get those free stamps. <laughs> okay. This is the app. And hopefully you can make friends from around the world while maintaining your foreign language skills. So are you ready to download slowly and start writing to people? Now let's move to our number one app that everybody can use from beginner to advanced learners. You're going to like to have this. So uh, this app is called Radio Garden. By the name, you probably know what this app is all about. This app also have both uh, the app on your phone or you can have it on your computer. So I'm going to show you on my computer. Okay, so we're going to search Radio Garden. You're going to see the first page and then you will be able to see the whole world in front of you. The green part that you see, that means there are lots of radio stations. Okay, so now, since I am learning Arabic, that's why I'm in Qatar. Okay, now let's go to different parts of the world. Once I move myself to China, uh, you will be, oh, sorry, that's Thailand. My bad, let's move up a little bit. You're going to see different radio stations in China. I know there's not many options. Okay, but still, there are little spots here and there. Okay, so... Okay, so once you find a station that you really like, okay, what you can do is, you say, oh, right, right here, right here. Okay, so you can move to any part of the world that you like. Uh, let's just listen to tons of radio. Okay, so, what are you waiting for? Just turn on the radio garden and listen to the language you're learning. So, what do you think about those apps? Is there anything similar that you want to recommend? Please feel free to share them in the comments. If you're also a language enthusiast like me, start experimenting with them and let me know what you think. And have fun learning and share with your friends. Thanks again.